I want you to understand something That when I come up in this bitch I want the fans jumping I want the fist pumping in the air I don't look like a millionaire But I feel like What is up guys? Today we're doing what I know a lot of you guys have probably been waiting a long time for I mean this is probably the most exciting video that I've put out in a long time Today we are going to be painting the dash The dash Ah, yay, woo. All right, it's, it's not the most excitingest thing in the world, excitingness, except, is that a word? Anyhow, yeah, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but our dash is like faded black and it's gray and yeah, I, I want it all black, so we're gonna have to paint it. We're gonna have to do something to it, okay? Um, I had an idea. In which, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd know what my idea was last night because I posted it and um, I think I changed my mind. But anyhow, roll the intro. All right, guys. Now you got you know we already cleaned this dash once, um, but we didn't really clean it well enough to where it is prepared to put a coating on here. Uh, we just kind of blasted it really quick with the pressure washer just to get all the dust off. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today is I'm basically gonna be drenching it with the super clean uh, with a degreaser, and this is a bucket just got warm water. Uh, I put some dish soap in here got a scrub brush and I got this little it looks like a paintbrush but this actually came with my gun cleaning kit so um it's got much stiffer shorter bristles so it's it's more for scrubbing than it would be for painting and then just a sponge just to get the whole thing you know soapy and wet so what we're gonna do is just drench it with the degreaser and just scrub the living hell out of it and after we're done pressure wash it off now before I do that, I'm gonna try to get these vents and stuff removed because uh, I'm not gonna be using the vents because I know this is shocking, surprising, but the Khaki Civic does not have air conditioning, unfortunately. And my daughter's gonna help us today. What's your name? I mean, I know your name, but I don't know if they know your name. It's daughter. Daughter, okay. <laughs> no, by all means, we can just leave it as daughter. Y'all don't need to know it's her name. Hannah. Yeah, it's the Hannah. The Hannah. Okay, so the Hannah is uh, gonna be so nice enough today to help her old man out and clean the dash for us. So um, now I haven't showed you guys yet. If you guys follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on Snapchat, you already knew, but I picked up a GoPro, dude. I know. Lo and behold, I have a freaking GoPro. Shocking, isn't it? Um, but anyhow, I'm gonna be going back and forth uh, while she's cleaning the dash. I'm gonna set my phone up that I'm used to recording with on a tripod to record it. And then I'm gonna be walking around just recording her with the GoPro so I can go back and forth between the footage when I'm editing, just so I can kind of see how this thing is doing. Because to be honest with you, I'm kind of intimidated by it for using it for recording my episodes because um, I don't know, I, I shot some sample video with everything set to auto, and I wasn't impressed with it, dude. Like my phone, it's just on auto, okay? Um, and I don't really have to adjust anything or do anything, and I'm so used to that. So I'm gonna try to mess with the settings and everything on this, and hopefully get it down to where I can give you guys a little better quality video than what I have been. But yeah, this is the GoPro Hero 5, the black edition. Um, and I didn't really buy any accessories or anything with it. This handle that you see, I actually made this myself at work. Just a piece of aluminum and I welded a tab on the top and then glued this guy to it and then wrapped it with, uh, I forget what this stuff's called. What's this stuff called again? Rope. Rope, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wrapped it with the rope and yeah, it came out pretty cool. 
Anyhow, enough of that. Let's get to cleaning this dash. Alright guys, so we got this dash all as clean as it's gonna freaking be, believe that. And uh, my original idea here is I was gonna use this pill coat. Uh, this is basically, this is Rust-Oleum's brand of um, Plasti Dip. It's, uh, it's a rubber paint that, it's flexible and if you don't like it, you can peel it off. But my main purpose of wanting to use this was the fact that it's flexible and because I'm afraid if we just use regular paint on that um, because you know the dash kind of flexes in that it's going to crack obviously that's my thinking so um, but I've changed my mind on this uh, I think what I'm actually going to go with now uh, I got to go back to Instagram and see who it was who left a comment but said that I should try the vinyl dye and I looked it up because I was thinking it was going to be like a can or something that I was probably going to have to like order online. And you guys know me and ordering crap online. Um, but no, it actually comes in an aerosol can just like this. And I think I could probably pick it up at Home Depot or Checkers or AutoZone or somewhere. So I'm going to run and try to find some of that. And then we'll give it a try. So let's get a... I'm gonna get all this shut down and we'll get on the road. I wanna leave the dash out here in the sun so that it can have time to dry while we're gone. I think it'll be all right out here, don't you? Or do you think someone will steal it? Yeah, definitely out back. We live in West Phoenix, man. Someone will steal that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at the vinyl paint, if you guys have a satin black. This looks like it's raw, oh, but it's gloss black. Mm. That's flat. That's flat. You guys don't have a satin? Uh, it's gray, isn't it? It's yeah, charcoal it's a, gray. It's kind of odd that we don't have a satin black. I don't how popular that is. Yeah. Well, that's probably the reason why it sold out or something. <laughs> so here's that pill coat. This is what we were originally going to use. So I'm no longer going to use that. And I am now using this. It is also a Rust-Oleum brand. This is for fabric and vinyl. It's gloss. Colors black, and if you see here, it says that it is uh, flexible coating and no pill promise adhesion guarantee.
All right, now before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these rivets out of the uh, VIN number plate so we can remove it. Now, I'm sure this is probably illegal in some kind of way, but uh... Oh well. All right, guys, I got the dash set up out back so that I'm not getting overspray all over my car. And basically what I did is I went over the whole thing with a Scotch-Brite pad and just, you know, scuffed the living shit out of it. And then I used my compressor and I blew all the dust off. Um, I used some of this uh, green Scotch brand tape and just covered up all the wiring connectors and stuff because you do not want to get paint all over these because it can get down inside the pins and cause you some problems later. So just be safe and make sure you cover up all your connectors. Um, I went ahead and covered up the wiring as well, like on the back. So yeah, I mean, it's just a, a good idea in case you run into some wiring problems in the future and you actually need to chase down wiring depending on, uh, you know, the color of the wire or whatever. So. Yeah, just cover that shit up, basically, is what I'm saying. Now, the whole thing has been cleaned. Uh, it's sat out in the sun plenty long enough for it to dry. And, uh, yeah, we got the wiring uh, all covered, so we're pretty much ready to put our first coat on. Now, I have my phone set up over here, and I'm going to use it to do a hyperlapse. Come on, get back to camera. Hyperlapse and record. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the GoPro uh, in hand to record while I'm spraying. So, you know, I'm just trying to toy around with this GoPro still, the settings and everything, and then editing to, to see how I like it and see how the quality of it is. Now, obviously, uh, you guys need to shake the can up really well. I'm sure most of you guys know how to use a can of spray paint now I'm not gonna go real heavy on this first coat I'm just gonna try to kind of mist it on how much dust and overspray is surrounding me so I'm gonna go put my new camera up and I'll just share this process with you guys through time-lapse <laughs> Enough. Let's get it started. Let's start addressing this issue and open it up. Let's take this shit back to the basement and we can discuss statements that's made on this tape and its whole origin of the music that we all know and love. The music we all enjoy. Alright, guys, first coat down. Now, as you can see, well, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I mean, everything is black. It's not a real pretty paint job it looks kind of blotchy and it's not very consistent now this is just the first coat so i mean i guess i'm exaggerating it doesn't look as bad as i'm coming across i mean it's definitely black and it's not real glossy either it kind of has more of a satin look to it guys well there she is the dash is put in the car and I just have it in there temporarily so you guys can check it out but 
I mean, it looks freaking good, right? I mean, a lot better than what it did before. I mean, because it was two-tone, this was gray, I'm sure you guys remember, and then this was black, but it wasn't as deep of a black as it is now. So everything just looks fresh, it looks new. Uh, I think it ties in with the interior obviously really well, because, I mean, other stuff is black. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I have to like it, right? I mean, because once, once you go black, you can't go back. Now, as far as this product here and what I think of it, to be quite honest with you, I think that, dude, I don't, if I had to do this again, I would not use this. Just point blank, dude. I wouldn't use this because uh, my main complaint is the fact that it's in an aerosol can, bro. I can't stand spray paint anymore. Like when I was a teenager, when I was younger, I used to use spray paint for freaking everything. But I just, I don't anymore. Since I started using a gun, it's just so much easier. And I know a lot of you guys are probably intimidated by the thought of using a spray gun. Oh, using a professional gun to paint. Dude, I'm telling you, once you get a gun, and once you get used to spraying with it, it's like night and day, bro. Like, you will struggle to do a decent spray paint job. Once you have spoiled yourself, with having adjustable air pressure and adjustable flow of paint and an adjustable fan for Christ's sakes. Dude, this thing is like, it's like spraying like, like that big, dude. Like, and it just, it puddles up and it's so hard to get a nice consistent coat with this. Like, dude, I almost wish that before I started, I would have thought of it and I would have just poked a hole in the bottom of this and dumped it into my cup and sprayed it through my through my spray gun dude because uh, now I, I want to touch base with uh, with you guys a lot of you guys mention a lot of you guys mentioned um, why aren't you doing a custom dash like uh, or a lot of people said do a custom dash aluminum dash this and that dude I just want to be straight with you guys this is my mindset on 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 the topic Everything in this car, dude. Everything in this car. Oh, I'm gonna use my GoPro. Everything inside of this car, we have changed. From, obviously, there's not gonna be any carpet. There's no headliner. There's no longer a sunroof. Um, like, all the controls and stuff, the air conditioning, all that stuff's gone. The door panels are gone. The rear plastics are gone. We have this X-Bar. That didn't come factory. The suspension has been changed. The engine, dude, everything is completely different. My steering wheel, I, I have one piece carbon fiber bucket seats going in this car. Like, the only thing that really, whenever you sit down in this car that I'm gonna have left, that's gonna tell my mind, hey, you're sitting in an EF. Hey, you're sitting in a 91 Honda Civic. It's gonna be that dashboard, okay? That, that's the only thing really that I have left that says, you know, you know, you're sitting in one of your your favorite 90s era Japanese vehicles, you know, and I, I just I want to save something. I'm going to go because I'm rambling like crazy. Um, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, man. Uh, leave me some comments down below if you have any questions about the process. Now, what we did with our dashboard here, that goes for pretty much anything inside the car. All the pillar plastics, all the, you know, the rear plastics, your door panels. Um, basically all the plastics, your center console, like you can do that exact same process on all those items if you are wanting to do a, a full color change on your car uh, for, you know, interior wise. So those same steps apply. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Peace out. Uh, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Later.